Yes, now YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to the YouTube channel today. We have a rebuild. Now, I'm not going to lie. I was going to do the Manchester United one, but I thought, fuck it. I don't want to. I'm going to do a different rebuild. And we're going to do West Ham United. Um, It's going to be like the first FM career since I think fucking other than the my new one, like fucking Chesterfield. And um, the only reason why I'm doing an FM career is because FIFA's dead. I'm waiting for EFC 25 to come out. Um, I'm so excited for that. I uh, can't, can't stress enough. We're ready. We're locked in. Content, content, content coming around that time. Um, still same schedule, you know, um, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So um, you'll get content then. Um, but yeah, um, I'm doing the West Ham United career mode. Now we actually have a full up-to-date database, which is every transfer, I believe, up until like today. Which is incredible. So we will, I think we will have delete at Man U. Um, we'll have to see. So first thing first, we have a look at our sort of signings that we have um, on and our players that we need to renew. Kurt Zuma is the first at the top of the list. Kurt Zuma will not be playing for West Ham, but he is a good backup. So we are going to sort of offer him a contract. And um, we have Tadebo now, which is a fucking incredible business by West Ham. He was meant to be going to. Juve, Juventus and all of a sudden now they swooped in and they won him and it was fucking incredible Danny Ings uh, I'm unsure it will hold off for now and um, we've got quite a bit to go through um, we've declined to meet the press finance it's got 29 million uh, if we go over to transfers and go to transfer history you can see Luis Guilherme whatever his name is I don't know the name uh, we got Wes Fodderin we got We'll do Rodriguez. Now, some of the fees are not going to be realistic, and I know that because I don't think they can get every single one. Like, man, you 45 mil. It wasn't 45 mil. It was 20 mil. It's slash 17 mil. So it's, yeah, um, transfer value. I'm not sure why it's that high. Uh, Kilman was 40 million. Somerville was definitely not a million. Full Krog, I think. I'm not sure, though. Tadi Bobo. Um, I believe we are having to pay. Yeah. Our optional future fee is 30 million. We're going to activate that regardless. Anyway, um, 29 mil, obviously, in the budget. Uh, staff, we have, I think, need to, yeah, set peak coach, and we need to recruit some scouting. Uh, I, I'm going to try and get West Ham to the top. To be honest, that's going to be my main goal before EFC 25, and I think we've got about a month or so just to get that done. So there's all the responsibilities dealt with. Let's just create our tactic. Now, what do I want to go with? Of course, I'm going to go with Gigi Press. It's the best best thing to go for the game. Now, in terms of formations, I'm thinking something different. We've obviously got quite a few wingers, so we do actually have to plan sort of plan the squad around that. So I'm thinking maybe something like that, you know, or something, you know, dropping that. But I, I'm thinking that we could literally just go four two three one. But it's it's between that four three three and a four one one four. But I think for now we'll stick with the 4-3-3. We want James Ward-Prowse to be a sort of a box-to-box -box, and we would like this player here to be sort of a, a deep-line playmaker on support and the uh, ball-winning midfielder to be on defend. We want a wing-back on attack. I'm really looking forward to starting with full crook. This guy is a fucking machine and he is such a baller. I'm so I'm putting him on target forward. He's going to be told to shoot more often. Uh, we're going to have Somerville on the left. Obviously, James Will Prowse there. Deep line playmaker. We're going to have the Quetta. And I think... Going to play... Yeah, we'll play Edson Alvarez there. I think we could do with a new left back, to be honest. Is Debo left-footed? And he's right-footed. Now, the first player I'm going to look at is Simeon Perfundi. If you guys do not know who Perfondi is, you have missed out every year. Well, every every save I've done when he becomes off loan with this year, obviously he's on loan to that club and then he comes off loan the season after. This season he's still at that club because obviously we've got the 2024, 2024 to 2025 database. So it's uh, completely different. And it's sort of, you know, he will be, I think he's got two, they've obviously extended it, I believe. I'm not sure though. Um, So it's sort of, he's there for another year, so he'll be another year out. But when he becomes available, that guy is a fucking baller. And honestly, 
yeah, it's just unreal, to be honest. Um, oh, no. Fuck. If you guys don't know, Saudi Arabia will come in for people, but we can't reject this, otherwise he will ask to leave, and he gets, like, 700 grand a week at there. So it's sort of like we will have to cash in and take the money. Persuade to stay? What, how much does he want? Um, 525 grand a week, you see? Like, we're going to have to sell him. But I'm not going to sell him without a fight. 65 million pounds we would want for Jared Bowen to leave. I've come back in for 48 and a half. I'm telling you, 65 million. You want the player, take him off me for 65 million. So here we are. Hopefully, 16 and a half grand, and you know, 18 negotiations, 19 player potential, and 17 player ability. He's got to be good unless he accepts um, a other contract that's been offered to him. But I can't guarantee that he'll join us. But I'm hoping he does, because if he does. We have a very good director of football on our hands and it will be hard to keep him if we don't succeed with this squad. So they've made another offer here for 40 million. I'm telling them, no, 65 million. You're not getting him for any less. So for left backs, I kind of am looking at sort of probably three, probably like three options here. Um, at the minute, we can get Leif Davis, James Justin, or Amar Dedic. Leif Davis is going to be sort of probably a good option, depending. And uh, Amar Dedic, obviously, we know he's good. So, um, yeah, but for keeper, I'm not quite sure. I'm thinking Marmach Vilia or Marmach Cavilia, whatever his name is from uh, Valencia. Um, or Re Restes, um, do you know, there's sort of open options. Um, I do kind of want someone, someone that's going to take over, um, and probably be sort of a better keeper than Ariola at the minute. But we'll have to see. Um, but I'll get back to you once I've sort of made my choice. So I've made the executive decision to go for Georgie Mohamedas Fili, um, as our keeper, and maybe Restos depending later down the line. But Amar Dedic will be our full back. So now we've just got to generate around 60 to 7 million pounds to sort of uh, afford them at the minute. So, so we agreed a deal with uh, Wes, uh, for Valencia for the um, Gio Giorgi Marmajfili. And um, for some reason, he's signed a new contract. So it means we are going to have to go back out and find a new keeper, which is not what I wanted to do. And we have agreed a £35 million for Amar Dedic. And Dedic joins us for 15 now, 20 next season. We're not doing a rebuild, so we're sort of, you know, playing the games. We're going to be sort of... We're going to be sort of actually playing the save. Um, but if we need to sim, we'll sim. But uh, yeah, West Ham, here we go. We're pressing the ball into Mohamed Kudos. It's a good, good start for Quetta. That's just Jared Bowen. Going to get it into the box to Fulkrug. Nicholas Fulkrug. That's how you start a season for West Ham United. I can't wait for this guy. This guy's a baller. I can't. Such a good striker. And that's not even me just trying to hype him up. And the Euros, he is a unit. He holds. I've never even heard of him since that breakout through season with Werder Bremen. And then. Obviously, with Dortmund, they brought him. And then the Euros, oof, he can hit a ball. Um, but, yeah, I'm, that is an incredible... It's a new back line and a winger. Zuma's already got a yellow, for fuck's sake. Paqueta. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What is he doing? Ariola, you know they just cost us the game there. Jesus Christ. We've got six, the five yellows. Oh my god! Just don't bottle it, lads. Let's try and make it a second. Somerville, gonna play down this left hand side. Somerville into Dedich, back into Somerville. Somerville, get in. Is he onside though? That's the thing, because if he's not, we have an issue. 
is on. Get in. We have provided an absolute shocker to Liverpool. What a game. What an absolute result this is. We are 2 0 up, so we're probably going to be out third, fourth. Yeah, look at that. Man City set three goals. They're winning 3 3 0, is it? At Ipswich, yeah. Incredible. Incredible. We have provided a shock result. Six minutes at a time, but what a result. 2 0 here at home against Liverpool. <laughs> what a start to the season this is. is Liverpool. But I think that's where I'm going to end the episode. Um, obviously, it's going to be a short one because it's just the start of the season. We're just getting into it. Um, so this is just going to be the start. And uh, yeah, you'll uh, see episode two out in the next couple of days, probably the Friday or Saturday. And then obviously it'll continue from there. But yeah, um, I am going to bounce. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys have enjoyed this video, do us in more videos like this. And please do leave a like comment down below. Just mean the world. And yes, I am out. Take care. And peace. Up the hammers.